Okay, okay. I thought you did good, Redden. Then we'll celebrate. Now you're talking. Oh, what the frick? Oh! Behemoth! Oh shit! Uh, let's loot first, and then we'll deal with Behemoth. <laughs> All right, guys, we're picking up right where we left off um, and ready to go into Chevy Chase. Let's do it. Seems to be pretty quiet here so far. Ow! All right. I'll take some purified water. Well, that hurt. Um, this would probably be a good time to go see Moira <laughs> and, and haul all my stuff back. All right, here's what I'm going to do then. Um, I'm kind of low on ammo too anyways. So let's go to here and let's grab a splint for our leg and also for our arm in case we have to use our weapon which no excuse me when we have to use our weapon and I think we'll keep our our torso in a crippled state. Since we looted that water. Let's drink all of it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually do that. Uh, I'll cut the camera here. And I, I might as well go back and grab all that stuff back at the friendly station. Go back to Moira, do this quest, turn in, sell, repair, get more ammo, and then I'll meet you guys back here. Actually, I, I will bring you back for the quest turn in so you can see that. And of course, as usual, if anything crazy happens. But uh, this is just a good opportunity for me to turn this quest in, get that loot back to the base, and re restock on my ammo. So there's multiple reasons for doing this.
Oh, my God. I thought I was dead. You saved me. You're welcome. They dropped this stuff. Why don't you take it? It's all I have. You don't have to do that. But I'll take it if you want to give it to me. Oh, yeah. You need it more than I do. You'd know best, wouldn't you? Mm. I have to go. Again, thank you. You're welcome. Um, do you want me to escort you back to Megaton? I guess that means no. We'll take this stuff, though. There's a dog swimming in the water. I don't know why. Weird. All right, guys, we're back in Megaton. Uh, I ran into a couple of traveling vendors and sold all my stuff, got some stuff repaired, went back to the base, got fixed up with food and water. Do you have any scrap metal for me? Uh, no, I have scrap metal, but not for you. Uh, oh, shit. Now we got to pay to redo this again. It's been a whole week. Uh, huh? Yeah. All right, I have a bunch of dirty water to put in here, so. All right, we'll come back for that. Let's go talk to Moira. Well, how do you feel? Not so great. This really hurts, you know. Sure, someone wanted me to go out and hurt myself for your book. Why not study injury? Why not study injuries on yourself? If it helped, I could shoot you in the gut. <laughs> That's kind of rude. Okay. Yeah, this hurts. Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Jeez. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? Yeah, stay away from super mutants. For posterity. Um, the adrenaline helps, so does the fear of death. There's a lot of both. My only solace is thinking about inflicting this pain on people like you. Nope, this. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. 
And it does help when you're sewing up wounds and setting bones, too. That seems like it'd be tough to do alone. It kind of sucks. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? <laughs> no shit. <laughs> okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you. Oh, thank you. Keep up your spirit. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see from your side, though. <laughs> stitched a smiley face? Really? I, I really love you, Moira. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Hmm. Environment suit. Oh, nice. Oh, have we got a doctor's bag? Okay. Uh, the last part of this chapter is about Meyer Lurks, right? Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. All right. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Lurks down there. Anchorage War Memorial, gotcha. Go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. Okay. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Lurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Wait, I have to go into their nest and I can't kill any of them? Moira. Okay, um... I don't think we need anything repaired. I think I have that all done. Let's see what she has for sale, though. Uh, we want any armor-piercing rounds that you have, which is zero. you have any pulse rounds for my 20-gauge? No, you don't. Do you have any weapon repair kits? We're pretty good on medical stuff. She hasn't been stocking weapon repair kits lately, which is a little disappointing. I need large rifle primers. She doesn't have any of those either. Okay, she doesn't really have anything we need. I've already sold everything I want to sell. Um... I've been thinking about the guide. Can I ask you something? What what do I want to ask her? <laughs> Absolutely. I'll bet you haven't been thinking about the guide as much as I have. Probably not. Why do you really want to write this guide? How's the book coming? Oh, I'm writing up the second chapter right now. It's called Thrive. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It covers the various ways to get ahead and stay ahead of the various predators out there. And how to patch yourself up if you don't. Okay. Um, okay, I think we're done with her Remember. for now. Okay. Let's go grab our water. And uh, I'm just going to run quickly back to the garage. What the frick are you doing, Walter? Wait a second. Uh-oh. Uh. I just paid for this and put put water in it, right? I guess I What the hell's going on here? Yeah, what is it? It's not giving me the option to pay. Oh, there we go. That was very odd. Hmm. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'm going to go um, put this stuff away. And then work my way all the way back to Chevy Chase. Meet you guys there. And as usual, if anything crazy happens between now and then, I'll get it on camera. I forgot to show you guys this environment suit. So it gives me 30 
radiation resistance and plus five medical. Um, the other radiation suit that we have gives um, 40 radiation resist, but no medical. Hmm. Okay. So this weighs five pounds and that weighs five pounds. This actually, oh, that's minus six damage resistance. So is this, though, for that matter. This does have two damage threshold, threshold though. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not going to carry those around with me because five pounds is significant. Our armor is still in pretty damn good shape. And, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. How much money do I have? 286 caps. That might not seem like a lot, but I have spent a ton of money in repairs, buying new, more ammo, a few more medical stuff, you know, things. Most of, most of that money's gone to repairs, though. But we are in tip-top condition. Well, almost tip-top condition. You know, all of our weapons here. This cowboy repeater's the only one that's down and even it's above the the marker where it starts to you know fail and stuff <laughs> i could run over to seneca station i suppose and get some more repair kits from that guy um nah i don't i don't think i will i think we're i think we're in pretty good shape okay anyway i'll see you guys at chevy chase Okay, guys, we're back at Chevy Chase. Let's continue looking for our father at the Galaxy News radio station. We are in much better shape now than we were the first time we came here. Do I see something over there? Whoops. Nope, guess not. So let's see. We'll take a look at our map here. And we need to head south to get to the GNR building. All right, let's do it. There's another station over here. We'll just discover it. That just says Metro Station. Chevy Chase East. Okay. Well, let's not go down there right now. Oh, shit. Super mutants. Somebody's fighting them. Might be Brotherhood. Uh, I think that's the Brotherhood initiate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. Actually, you know, too, I want to change back to my snake lore. Initiate Redden. Paladin Vargas. No offense, but I'm a little busy saving your ass right now. <laughs> you are, huh? You don't need to worry. We're the best outfit in the whole Brotherhood of Steel. 
Just okay. watch what we do to these uglies. Who are you? Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. You got the weird football eyes, too. I really wish I knew what was causing that. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. Hmm. Okay, I'm going that way, too. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. Well, you know, that's actually not bad advice. Uh, wait. Who the hell are you people? That's not really true. Um, don't want to really be rude because they did kind of help me. So let's use this option. I'm Sentinel Lions of the Lions Pride. With the Brotherhood of Steel. Don't worry, we're on your side. At least I hope so. Okay, that's good to know. Um, looking for new recruits. Uh, you mentioned something about Galaxy News. There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News radio building is sort of our port in the storm. Okay. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. Who did you say you were? The name's again? Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Squad Commander of the Lyons Pride. Right. We do our best to hold back the super mutants in this area, but when civilians stumble into our sights, that gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? Yeah, but I'm just not any ordinary civilian. Um, I'm don't think I'm interested in joining the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, of course we could get power armor. Hmm. You guys looking for new recruits? That's a negative. Oh, okay. Never mind. We've got too many local conscripts as it is. Most are undertrained and too damn trigger happy for their own good. Our very own initiate Redden is a sterling example. Okay. All right. Well, let's go. Watch yourself out there. Redden, on me. You're doing fine. Just follow my lead. No dead heroes today, okay? Okay. I'm gonna um follow behind these guys. All right, what are we doing? What's the situation? All clear, Sentinel. Five mutants released from their torment. The rest are keeping their heads down. Good. Jennings? Negative. A new recruit? Just a stray we picked up. The one that blundered into the uglies over on 42nd. Welcome. All right. It's Thanks. a usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. Is this guy dead? Oh. We could take his armor. No, oh, shit. We'll come back. I don't want to carry it right now. It's going to be too heavy. You guys are crazy! I'm kind of more of a stealthy fighter. I just don't go in like that because I don't have power armor. I'll let I'll let them waste their ammo too. Take that. I'm not a coward or anything. I'm just uh, more tactical than you guys are. Ooh, wow, look at all that. There, I helped. <laughs> okay, he's down. The outpost is just to the south of us. Colvin, you're the eyes. Vargas, Redden, secure this building. Come with me if you like. We'll have the best view. I'm supposed to go with Vargas, right? Okay, we gotta loot first. 
Wait, where did Vargas go? He went this way, right? There he is. Oh. Roger that. Ugly. I've got contact. All right, you know what? Let's help a little bit here. Or not. <laughs> so, how did I do, Vargas? Pass my little trial run? Come on, Lion 5 needs me, and you know it. That Citadel guard duty is such bullshit. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We're clear out here. Now knock Stand that off. Down. You're wasting ammo. Ah, uh, come on. We just kicked their asses. We need to sweep the area. You think those were all the uglies in DC? You take the east side. I'll go west. Okay, okay. I thought you did good, Redden. Side, then we'll, well celebrate. Another mess now you're up. talking. We'll sweep the perimeter and the inside. Oh, what the Shit. frick? Red, get out of there. Behemoth. Behe oh. Behemoth! Oh shit! Uh, let's loot first, then we'll deal with Behemoth. <laughs> shit! Uh, how do we fight that? They're taking him out. Okay, I killed him. <laughs> that was all me. Not. <laughs> I didn't kill him though. I got the kill shot. Oh man, okay. Wow. That was kind of intense. His power these these guys' power armor is in like terrible condition. Oh look at all those nukes. Redden was good enough for the pride and she proved it here today. Oh no, did yeah. Redden die? God damn it. When we get back to the Citadel, I'll talk to the scribes. Let it be chronicled that Paladin Redden passed her test. Come on. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Well, you did 98% of the work, but sh okay. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. Okay, thank you. Anything else you can tell me about Galaxy News Radio? Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. Okay. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Gotcha. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. Okay. Um, you sure you're not looking for recruits? I'm sure. Oh, that You sucks. can handle yourself. I'll give you that. Okay. But let's not get carried away. Okay, um... I'm sorry about Redden. She died well. She died as a soldier. In the end, that's all that really matters. Okay. Um, you guys don't screw around. I'll take that as a compliment. It was meant as one. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the capital wasteland, who will? Uh, me? Maybe? The Brotherhood does its best, but sometimes it takes a little something... Special. That's where the lion's pride comes in. You guys do kick ass, I gotta say. Uh, all right, see ya. Watch yourself out there. You don't mind if I, like, Let's see if they've got borrow that drink guy's stuff. armor, do you? Because I don't think he needs it anymore. Uh, and the fat man and eight mini nukes. Good gravy. Um, okay, this shit's gonna be heavy. Do you have anything on you? Oh, yeah? Jeez. All right, we're going to have to have a, a, another stash point. 
I think I'm going to put these on. Okay. Whew, that guy was scary. Let's see, okay, we looted all these guys. Um, I mean, we're already over encumbered. <clears throat> Let's just say they're letting me take the stuff for helping them kill the behemoth. That way I can feel better about myself. Uh, where did, where did Redden go? She, she ran off this way, right? I don't know where she went, actually. How do they know she's dead? I mean, obviously it's scripted, but... Okay, she's not down there. It sucks that she died. I liked her. There she is. She had a grenade launcher. <clears throat> well, you tried. If I had time, I'd bury you. And a shovel. Okay, it doesn't appear to be anything over there. That's where the behemoth came from. Um, all right, so let's see here. We had that other uh, dead paladin, too. I'd like to get his armor, and then we have to figure out where we're going to stash all this stuff. So let's go back and see if we can find that guy. Here he is. Initiate Jennings. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's stash all this stuff on Initiate Jennings, <clears throat> and hopefully it won't disappear until we can come back and get it all. We got a laser rifle plus there. We'll stash the fat man and the grenade launcher because that stuff is heavy as all get out. Lucky nightcap. While worn with the lucky long johns, you get luck plus one. Okay, I guess we'll keep that. Recon armor is medium armor. And it gives us plus five to sneak. 24 damage resistance. Thirty-two ten. Now I'll keep our, our guns in repair on our Navy combat. Lion's Pride Recon Armor. Wait, was that? Any different than um, the other? I don't think so. I think it's the same. It might look different, but... Okay, so this is all T-45. I don't think we can get T-60 in Fallout 3 unless... Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. But this is all in terrible condition. So we'll probably just hang on to it until... We can repair it. The other thing about the power armor in my game with all these mods is you're very ineffective in it until you get training. And I think that's why, you know, we want to see if we can join the Brotherhood to get training so we can use the power armor. But I'm not sure to what extent that applies to Fallout 3. I know it was more of a thing in New Vegas and Fallout 4 for sure. Okay, so that lightens us up pretty significantly. Um, the other thing I want to do, and by the way, thank you, Jennings, for holding our stuff for us. Appreciate it, buddy. 
Um, let's mark this spot. So we know how to get back there. Okay, let's continue on to GNR. A play. Thanks for your help. We'll take any we can get. Okay. Uh, requires key. Looks like it's all clear. Unlocking outer doors. Thank you. All right, let's remove these. Knight Finley at your service. What can I do for you? Uh, what's this building for? This is Galaxy News Radio. The last free voice of the people of the Wasteland. The Brotherhood of Steel makes sure of that. Okay. Um, can I speak to Three Dog, please? You can head right on up. He's waiting for you. All right. Okay. Just make sure not to... Me? Interfere? Never. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knight Dillon. If there's anything you need here, I'll try and help. Thank you, Knight Dillon. Uh, what's this building for? You got a pip boy. Tune into Galaxy News Radio and listen. It's the only radio station in the Capital Wasteland that really tells it like it is. Okay. Uh, side note, uh, the reason I don't use the radio is because it has copyrighted music on it. Um, so, yeah, that's why you never hear me turn the radio on in this game. Unfortunately, because it it'd be cool, but yeah. I need to speak to Three Dot. Oh, go right on up. You were expected. Hmm. How? Why does? Why is Three Dog expecting me? Everything will be fine. Okay, you don't need to be rude, especially when you were polite earlier. Is there anything to loot in here? All right, hold on. Oh, I just want to take a quick sweep of the ground floor. There probably isn't anything really lootable in, in this area. Looks like it's all pretty much cleared out. Oh, well, I guess we'd be stealing if we did, so never mind. Doesn't matter now. We don't want to get on three dogs' bad side right off the bat here. Let's see the super mutants try and take this place now. Is that, uh, what's her name? The lion's lady? Welcome, friend. My brothers may be gruff, but they will lay down their lives for you. Yeah, but they don't get out of your way when you need to mo move into a room. Go away. Vargas, don't be rude. I guess it's my turn to thank you. Didn't we already have this conversation? Anyway, the area. Okay. Goodbye. What? Welcome to the Galaxy News Radio Outpost. I'm Sergeant Wilkes, and I'm in charge here. What brings you into the D.C. area? Um, what's this building for? This is the last free radio station in the entire D.C. area. The rest of the airwaves are clotted up with Enclave propaganda. Right, you guys are the enemy of the Enclave, that's right. I wouldn't believe a word they say anywhere else. Voice of the free people, what does that mean? Well, the only other station that comes through nice and clear on the radio is the Enclave station. All they spew is a bunch of nonsense and propaganda. Galaxy News Radio reports on what's really happening. What's the Brotherhood doing here? We have a relationship with the station here. We stay in this reinforced structure and protect it from the super mutants. This is the only real safe spot in the ruins of DC. The rest of the place is crawling with those walking abominations. It's nice to have a port in the storm, you know? Sure. Um, okay. Sure. Good luck to you. Thank you, Sergeant Wilkes. Okay, let's go this way. All right, there's no looting in this place. That's probably that hallway we saw earlier. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. 
And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. You have? Well, I kind of figured that was the case. Uh, all right. You know my father. Is he here? Please, I've been looking for him. Hey, hey, one thing at a time. Nah, your old man ain't here. Not oh, anymore. Bummer. He heard old Three Dog on the radio. Figured I knew what was what out here in the Capital Wasteland. And he was right. So I filled the old man in. But he split. Looks like I've got my way of contributing to the good fight, and he's got his own. The good fight? What's that all about? Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the Capital Wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day. Fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. Yep. They all want a slice of the pie, too. And aim to take it by force. Uh... So, so people fight back? They can't. Not against those kind of enemies. They just run away and hide, or they stay and die. It just ain't right. No. Oh. I I used the wrong inflection there. So they should just fight back, is what I meant to say. So that's where I enter the picture. I fight the good fight with GNR as my gun. The sound of truth goes out across the Capital Wasteland. Hell, someone's got to counter that bullshit on the Enclave Station. Okay. Um, words don't kill people, guns do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I get it, but I need to find my dad. Sorry, I'm so used to talking to an audience that can't answer. I just assume you want to hear my voice all the time. Not particularly. So, you want to know where your dad is? Fair enough. I do. We got one rule in the good fight, though. You want help, you got to contribute. Hey, I just killed that super mutant out there. Sort of. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you know anything that can help my dad, please just tell me. What could I ever? What could I ever do for you? You seem to have everything you need here. Uh, just wipe that. No, I'm not gonna be rude. Um. Yeah. Why do you need my help? I have the name and the talent, but what I don't have are people to run out and do the stuff I need. Okay. Sure, the Brotherhood watches over the place, yeah, but that's all they can spare. Galaxy News needs a doer. Someone who can go out there into that wild, woolly world and get shit done. So you game? Well, if that's what I gotta do to find my dad, and if there's caps in it for me, I suppose. Um, alright, what can I do? You wanna find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here at Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. Um, I have no speech. Okay, what do you want me to do? Good, because this isn't going to be easy. Of course not. Galaxy News Radio is my baby. I love it. I feed it. I keep it changed. But there's one problem. No one outside of D.C. can hear her cry. You see, some brainless super mutant thought it would be funny to shoot at the shiny round thing on the Washington Monument. Okay. Um. I see where this is going. Yep. That shiny thing was our broadcast relay. Now it's Swiss cheese. Without it, our broadcast range is quite limited. Of course, the factory that made the relay dishes is long gone, leveled, as in, we're never going to scavenge that part again. Okay. Um, tell me what you want me to do. It is risky. I would never lie to you. But there's something behind those eyes of yours that screams, I'm the one that can get shit done. That's right. Your dad had that same look in his eyes, too. That's why three dogs helping you. No, I'm helping you. All right, come on, just get to the point. One of the Brotherhood guys that passed through here mentioned seeing a dish in one of DC's old museums. 
It's the dish off the old Virgo 2 lunar lander in the Museum of Technology. Okay. I want you to get it and bring it to the Washington Monument to replace the bad one. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I sure know how to pick them. Uh, you didn't pick me. I came in here on my own power, but okay. You're going to be the best thing that ever happened to Galaxy News in a long time. Yeah, that's probably true. If you need any more info, I'll be here waiting for you. Okay. Following in his footsteps, map marker added. Note added, Washington Monument access. We still can't take his shit, though. <laughs> Uh, where did he go? Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. What does the note say? Okay. There's the Virgo two. Due to compromised security, the password to the terminal that controls the Washington Monument entry gate has recently been changed. The new password is now Renfield Paladin Bearings Second Monument Defense Detachment. Okay. Renfield. Gotcha. Uh, all right. So I guess uh, we are finished here uh, for now at GNR. That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. Thank you. And we need to go to the... Well, I guess we need to go to this museum first to get the dish and then to the Washington Monument. And we also have all of that loot that we got to haul back. Let's take a look at our map here. So it looks like... There's the museum, there's the monument. DuPont Station, Tepid Sewers, Anchorage Memorial. All right, why don't we... Uh, let's see here. Ugh. This is Farragut. What we could do is grab all, go get our stuff and limp over to the Anchorage Memorial, stash it somewhere else, go in and do Moira's Mirelurk quest. And then just kind of follow the road back um, along here to get back to home. Then we can come back here again and... You know, I actually forgot something... Whoops. Uh, forgot something in the Marigold Station. That uh, little add-on quest that we got. Yeah, this Grady thing. Uh, so we can we can stop back by there and and do that too. I'm just concerned about leaving all of that stuff here uh, and continuing on without getting it back because it could it could potentially disappear. And the pathway between hither and yon is pretty much clear of enemies for the moment until the repops happen anyway. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go grab all that stuff that we stashed. And work my way to Anchorage Memorial. And then we'll just, again, find another temporary place to stash it while we take care of the Mirelurk situation. So, yeah, let's do that. All right, guys, we're um, at Farragut, right outside of Farragut. And I stashed everything here in this garbage can. So as long as we get back to it fairly soon, it should not despawn. How are we doing, by the way? And we're in pretty good shape overall, I'd say. We could maybe stand to drink something. Let's have a water and... Let's also have the steamed Mirelurk. Okay. So, yeah, we're in pretty good shape here. The, uh, I think those are the hunters, right? Let's, let's actually put our night vision back on for now. 
Uh, I'm also going to bring with me one of these Brotherhood Recon armors because it gives us plus five sneak. Because we can't kill the Mire Lurks uh, when we go in there, so we're going to have to be as stealthy as possible. Pretty sure you guys are friendly, right? Good. What do you need? Well. Oh, I forgot. They're vendors. I don't know about that. He has no, oh, he has no caps at all. Okay, never mind. Whatever. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's go to here and go to quests and choose Wasteland Survival Guide. Optional, do not kill any Marlux in the Anchorage War Memorial place. The observer in a spawning pod in the Anchorage War Memorial. That's the observer. Okay, let's do this. This might be very difficult to do without killing any of them, but we will give it a try. I think that guy's a hunter as well. Yeah. Well, put it this way, he's not a raider or he already would have fired on us, so... There's a centaur down there, which means there's probably super mutants around. There's not really any way for me to get over there without going all the way around, unless we went... See, that's uh, Wilhelm's Wharf. Looks like there's a bridge we could cross, but that bridge could also be just as dangerous going that way. Oh, yeah, there's something going on over there. Oh, it's just a... Okay, it's just a vendor. I just saw movement. There's Grandma Sparkle. Okay, well, um, we could do a running jump off of here and mostly clear the water, but let's just let's just go this way. Um, I want to. I have like two armor piercing rounds left. Once we get to the level fifty-five in repair, then we can start making our own armor piercing throw weights. But of course, we're not there yet, so. That did not get anybody's attention. Alright, there's another centaur down there somewhere. Let's just wait a moment. Okay, here he comes. Alright, let's move out. Um, I'm going to switch to... I do have a 41 AP... Bullets now for our carbine. So let's switch to those because I am expecting super mutants over here. That gun fires back more over where those hunters were. Ugly. Someone help me. Uh, do we have another one of those prisoner situations here? Oh, 
Caution. Found you! Gonna loot him. There's more around though. Someone help me. Checking for mines. <laughs> Take all of that stuff. Pugilism illustrated. <laughs> That gives us uh, unarmed, I believe. Plus two unarmed. Oh, we need to do this speech one as well. All the rest of those are temporaries. <laughs> Help me! Why do we still have a caution? Someone. It must have been Help. a different enemy from somewhere else. Uh, no, not pickpocket. Untire. Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you. The things they talked about doing to me. Yeah, they probably weren't bluffing either. Look, I don't have anything to offer you except these supplies. I don't know why they didn't take it. Nope, you need more than I do. Okay, if you say so. I can't thank you enough, stranger. Okay, now I'll, off I'll, I'll offer you the same thing I offered the other lady. Do you want me to escort you to a safe location? I guess that means no. Watch out for the 55-gallon drums. <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Weapon repair kit. Beautiful. We can unlock this. A Keller family transcript, five of five. All right. Why don't we... Wait until we have all of those, and then we'll read them all together. Quest added, Family Matters. Collect the... Yeah, find the remaining Keller family. Gotcha. Okay. Can we go in here? Uh-uh. So there's... We gotta go all the way over there and around to get to the Anchorage Memorial. If we don't want to go in the drink, which we don't. Alright, let's proceed. We have red roaches down here. Uh, I thought I saw another one. I think it's time to take the night vision off.
Oh, bear lurk. Glad I turned around. So I don't know if killing that one would count. So I'm going to assume it will. And uh, let's stay away from it. Dukov's place. That must be Dukov's place. All right. Yeah, let's avoid the mire lurk. Keep your weapons holstered or get shot. Roger that. Tepid sewers. Yeah, that's where Moira wanted us to go to. Or suggested we go to do all the mole rats, but we managed to get that done without having to do that. I guess we're going to have to jump over the water there. Door to Memorial Service entrance. Oh, all right. We're not getting in that way. Wire lurks walking around down there. Hmm. Oh, I guess we could have crossed over right there. I didn't even notice. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we can get around over this way. Because I, I don't want to kill that thing. For the quest, you know. So... Okay, we have another caution here. I think that's a hunter. I think that's a hunter. We've discovered the Anch Anchorage War Memorial. Okay. I think I'm not like hardcore familiar with the lore of Fallout, but I believe the war started with the Chinese attacking Alaska, so that's why it's the Anchorage War Memorial. We have a person here. Whew! I thought I was a goner. You saved my life. Here, take this. It's the least I can do. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it was me, but. The hunter's long gone, so I'll take his caps. Are you. Are you gonna be okay? Hey, Jesus, you really can't take a hint, can you? D what? Okay. I'm leaving. You gave me free money, so I'm not gonna argue with you. That was funny. <laughs> okay, so there's got to be another way in here. And what the hell is going on with all the explosions? Oh, there's a bridge right there. Oh, no, that's the same one we were looking at before, right? There must have been a landmine. And something tripped it. Maybe it was that hunter. All right, what is this board doing? 
Not much. Oh, there's a door down there. I don't know if it's a door we can get into. We shall see if that is the case. Don't really see anything else over that way. Okay, so here's the deal. We are going to put on our night vision so we don't have to have our light on and we're going to have this Brotherhood Recon armor on. I am now dressed as a member of the Brotherhood, uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Let's also wear this just for the perception. And if we need to be ultra sneaky, I do have... Uh, this one. But let's not pop that until we really need it, just because... Um, we might be in a situation where we need Ultra Sneak. What is our sneak currently? It is... So it's 24. It's not super high, but it's the best we can do without the magazine. Okay, let's do this. So we have to find a Meyer Lurk nest and put this thing in that Moira wants us without killing any of them. Uh, let's go this way. Take the bottle cap mine. Cherry bombs. The handbrake's got a good VW. The rest of that stuff's kind of heavy. spotted us. Okay, let's go. Let's go down here. I think this is going to be very difficult to do without killing any of them. Ouch! If we could get, if we could pull them out of the thing, draw them away, that would potentially work. You know, there is another way we could play this. We could just blitz down in there and see if we can find the nests and just try to avoid them. I don't know if that's a good idea either, but... Okay, let's just wait a second for things to chillax.
Okay, here we go. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, just go that way. Okay, so he's going left, so he's probably going to go back to where he was originally at. Now, Moira said their nests are down by the water. You know what? Wasn't that a nest that was outside, though? Where all those eggs were? I have a feeling like that doesn't count, though. We, the quest wants us to go in here. Okay, um... I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I'm gonna take it right now. We go this way. Door to Anchorage Memorial Facility Bay. Bay sounds like water. Alright, so we have a pat over there. Let's go this way. We need, we need to get down there. I don't think we can do that from this room. There's one of their nests down there. Okay, let's go this way. Probably go through that door there. Oh wait, are they, is this a stairway here? It is. Only problem is, I think there was a Mirelark sitting right at the bottom of those stairs. Door to Memorial Facility Offices. We have a safe over here, but we can't open it. Can't get into that terminal. Okay. Another way down, I think. All right. Let's go take a quick peek in these bathrooms and look at these lockers. Nothing there. Doesn't look like there's anything significant in there either.
Ah, oh, crap. If we go this way, we're going to have to get in the water. Hmm. Okay, um... I didn't bring any radiation protection with me in terms of armor. But we do have a Rad X we could take. Alright, let's just see what happens here. There's a nest right there. What the fuck is that thing? That looks like creature from the Black Lagoon or something. All right, let's see if we can get to this nest real quick without getting his attention. with that thing, whatever it is. Alright, we didn't take too much radiation there. Now we just need a GTFO. Okay. We managed to pull that one off without any incident. So I'm going to go back to Farragut, grab my stuff, and head back in, uh, back to Megaton, turn in the quest to Moira, do the usual sell, repair, etc. So I'll see you at Moira's. All right, Moira. So, are they intelligent? Do they have a leader? Some sort of king? Or priests? Or some sort of scaly community center? Mm, I They might have a king, like Creature from the Black Lagoon kind of king. But I didn't talk to him. I slipped the observer in with the eggs and they're none the wiser. I'll bet most people would have just gone in there, guns blazing without half a thought. But not you. You're the best research assistant <laughs> ever. Well, if I had armor piercing rounds A and B, you hadn't put the restriction on me not to kill them. I might have done that too. But anyway. I've been getting a good signal. But what do you think about them from your first hand observations of them? They're tasty and you need armor piercing ammo to kill them. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's unpleasant. But I guess it's no surprise. Practically everything out there can eat us. This bottom of the food chain thing really sucks. Mm hmm Some of these observations about their armor and camouflage gave me an idea for reinforced, neutral-colored headgear. Hmm. Here, consider it thanks for not interfering with them. Oh, speaking of which, take these, so you can continue to avoid them in the future. Okay. Oh, nice. Four stealth boys. Oh, shit. You know what? We could have used a stealth button there. I completely forgot I had one. That's <laughs> all right. Um, is that it for the second chapter? Absolutely. I'm glad to finish it up. But I bet you're even happier, right? You could say that. Just one last chapter now, and it's much safer. I promise. Mm, we'll see about that. Oh, and here's your payment. Two big boxes oh. full of ammo. Think of it as insurance, in case the next chapter isn't as safe as I predict. Uh, okay. So she's given us 44 rounds. Okay. Ready to start researching the last chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? Yeah. We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. Ooh, I wonder if it's the same library 
No, I guess we have to go into a museum, not a library. Never mind. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Research the local history, use old technology, check the library. It doesn't matter to me. Um, let's do from the top down. Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get, even about important things. In this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. Okay, we need to go there anyway. Successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Sounds good. I was going to go that way anyways. Okay. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Okay. Um, let's talk about their history. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Oh, um. Uh. That's kind of rude. What, is, what does she do if we say this? Try asking around a bit. You never know who's collected a lot of information, do you? Okay. I will try. Um, I've been thinking about your personal... No, let's not do that. Yeah, repairs? No, nah, she's... We need to find the... Um, actually, <laughs> our stuff's in really good shape anyway. We need to find the wandering vendors. They have really good repair. Uh, What do you have for sale? What do you... She gave us 744 rounds. That's all we got, really? I thought she said she was going to give us two boxes of ammo. What the hell? Moira. All right. Uh, we don't use 5mm, so I'm not going to buy her 5mm AP rounds. Um, I don't think her inventory has... Well, maybe it's reset. Do you have a weapon repair kit? That's what I want to know. I also need large rifle primers. It's like the wonder glue. Anything we need for weapon repair kits. Okay. Guess that's it. Don't hurt yourself. All right, let's see what this... Uh, oh, we leveled. Nice. Let's see what this hat is. Shady hat. Oh, nice. Plus five sneak and one perception. Okay, so we... What, uh, I still want to keep the regulator hat for crit chance. Even though I always forget to put it on <laughs> when I'm sniping, but... But this will be... This will come in handy for sneaking, too. All right, so let's go home and level. All right, we want to get repair up to 55. And we have done that. We have four skill points left. Um, I think we're going to keep working on... Let's get explosives to 20. And we'll get guns... Uh, I want to get lockpick. We got lockpick already at 25, so let's get... Let's just keep pumping out guns for now. All right. Now, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to go with the one that gives us 10% more carry weight. So, uh, which one was that? Balance load. Okay, yep, yeah, that's the one I want. Don't even have to think about it. So now we have a carry weight of 357 pounds. Very good. And we can now, we have the skill to make armor piercing 308 rounds for our sniper rifle. We just don't have... Uh, you know what we could do, actually? We could break down all our normal 308s and turn them all into armor piercing. We wouldn't get them all back, but we'd be able to make a pretty nice collection of it. 
All right, let's see here. If we go, if we look in here, I've got 68 308, round, uh, 308 rounds. Okay, let's, um, let's look in here for a minute. Okay, so I want to, I'd like to keep some normal rounds just for, you know, normal sniping, like any, any unarmored creatures, essentially, and, and humans. So why don't we keep 50 normal 308s for that purpose, and then all of the other 308, whoops, that I currently have will break down to get their primers. Because I don't have any large rifle primers in here. Uh, we need lead, rifle powder, but here again, I don't have large rifle uh, primers. Okay, so now we'll go here and we're going to break down all of our 308 rounds. So that's 84. And then we're going to make... Oh. You know why? Because I think armor piercing just uses more lead. So we are going to get uh, the total amount back because it uses the same quantity of everything else. Nice. I love it. Whoops. Okay. Um, you know, now that I think about it, we could do the same thing with our, um, our other ammo too. I've got all this surplus that I bought. It does, um, 15, you know, a uh, point 15 more damage, but it also triples our gun, uh, you know, where. So what we could do is we could break down all of these and make a shit ton of armor piercing 556s. Five okay, so likewise, then, I want to hang on to some normal 556. Five We'll put the armor piercing in there. Eh, hollow points. I mean, they do 1.75 damage, but they also add three more damage threshold. I've just, I've never been a huge fan of hollow points. So I think we're going to break those down. But let's keep, let's keep about half uh let's we'll keep 150 normal rounds for unarmored and then what we'll do is let's just grab whatever else i have in here for five five sixes and i think these use small rifle primers i'm plate i believe okay now let's break down all of our current 5.56, five, yeah, small rifle primer. We're going to break down the hollow points and just the normal rounds. Okay, so now we can make a total of 562 armor piercing 5.56. Five, Let's do it. Woot! All right. We can't make armor piercing 45, but I did make a bunch of, of the plus P rounds, the high pressure rounds earlier. So we're okay on those. Um, we could do the same thing with our 10 mils, but we can't. There's no armor piercing 357s, unfortunately. But I am going to break down all of the hollow points that I have because, again, I'm just not a fan. Okay, let's break down all of our 10 millimeter rounds. We can't make 44 armor piercing, can we? No, we can, we can only make magnums, hollow points, and specials. Okay. All right.
right now, um, let's make, uh, here, let's, oh, wait a minute. Did I break down all of my 10 millimeters? I think I did, but that's okay because I have 516 normal 10 millimeter rounds in here. And actually let's, let's grab all of those. We'll leave the rest of that stuff in there. For 10 mil rounds, I'm going to keep, again, ha uh, let's keep 200 of these. We'll put the armor piercing in there. I just don't want to accidentally break down uh, stuff that I don't mean to. We actually can put the 45s in here and the P's in here. All, this is all just temporary, of course. I won't break those down. Let's put the uh, 44s back in here. Okay, so now we're going to break down the rest of these 10 millimeters. And again, we'll just grab all of the... We need large pistol primers for 10 mil. And powder pistol. Pistol powder. Whoops. Okay, now let's break down all of the 10 mil millimeter rounds that we have. And we'll turn those all into armor piercing. Almost 400, nice. Because again, you know, I've said this before, but most of our, t our really tough enemies are all armored enemies. So that's why APM was just so important for us. Good. All right, so let's take all of this. We'll put the uh, remaining stuff back in for now. We have one piece of lead left, but I've got a lot of um, other ammo, you know, like 22 rounds and stuff that I can break down for lead as well. But I'll do that off camera. All right, now we're going to have to put some of this away because we have a lot of ammo and it's going to make us super heavy. So let's put, we're going to keep all the 308s. We'll keep the 357s. Okay, so that only gives us 25 357s. Eh, I'd like to have a few more of those, actually. So we're going to need... Powder pistol, I am going to need to make some more lead, and we need large pistol primers. I'm pretty sure 357s would be large pistol. A, uh, oh, they're small pistol primers. Hmm, okay. I would think of a 357 round as a larger gun, because it is in real life, but... Uh, put the large pistol primers back in there. We'll take the small pistol primers. Okay, why can't I make the... Oh, lead, right. Here, I'm going to do a quick save in case I screw something up here. Let's grab all the 22 rounds and all the 32 rounds and all the 5 millimeter rounds and all the 9 millimeter rounds. And we're going to break these down for lead. Very good. Okay, now let's make some 357 Magnum rounds. We can make 87. Um, we have 25. Let's let's just make another 25, and then we'll have a nice even 50. There we go. 50 rounds. Beautiful. I also want to make weapon repair kits now that we can. We need duct tapes, electronics, metal, glue, and wrenches. See how many of these we can make. All right, so we needed duct tape, electronics, metal, glue, and wrenches. We can make 12. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Okay. Now, um...
I mean, our weapons are in very, very good condition. Not enough for us to even use a weapon repair kit on any of them at the moment. So we're going to restore those in miscellaneous aid, miscellaneous items. We'll store them in miscellaneous items. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep... Let's keep one with us. And then we'll have 11 more uh, to use. Oh, that's a good feeling. Because uh, now we can make sure our weapons are in really good condition. You know, I do have that big machine gun in here. We could repair it now. Uh, merc yeah, mercenary's machine gun. Look at the damage this thing does. But it uses 308 is the thing. I think, yeah. I think what I'm going to do with this weapon is is wait until I can make a, more 308s because we still have enough 308 ammo to justify using a machine gun. It'll just tear through that 308. So 308s are for our sniper rifle. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.